Senior Report thanks Edmund Besch of Bristol Burgess Insurance Agency, 65 East Main Street, Westfield, for his generous grant to provide news to seniors. Funding is provided by a grant from New York State Senator Catherine M. Young, representing Western New York's 57th District with a local office in Olean. Funding is provided by a grant from Absolute Care of Westfield, committed to returning the favor to those who spent a lifetime caring for others. Absolute Care is located at 26 Cass Street in Westfield. Dave Cass and Rick Newell provide funding on behalf of the Lakeview Hotel and Restaurant at the Docks, located on Water Street, near the lake, in Mayville. Senior Report with Reed Powers thanks Westfield's Schultz Chevy for a generous grant to inform seniors of important news. Over 50 years of service to Westfield by Chevrolet, Schultz Chevy across from the school. The physicians of Jamestown Primary Care are happy to sponsor the Senior Report. From the Access Channel 5 television studio in Mayville, it's Senior Report with Reed Powers. Senior Report is broadcast live throughout northern Chautauqua County on Saturday morning from 9 to 10 a.m. each week. Call in and share a thought, make a comment, ask a question, or simply wish someone a happy birthday on Chautauqua County's only live call-in senior program. Since 1995, Reed has been bringing viewers hundreds of interesting guests informing the community on a variety of subjects. Here's the host of the show, Reed Powers. And good morning, good morning. What a beautiful day in Chautauqua County. Sun is beaming down. The world is wonderful in Chautauqua County. The fish are nibbling and biting. Big walleye tournament coming on. Hey, can you go wrong? You get out there in that water on Lake Erie or Lake Chautauqua, Oh, what fun, what joy. The flowers, the wonderful, uh, the vegetables are coming, tomatoes are coming in now, friends, and the corn is coming, real corn. Not that old stuff that they uh, ship around to the country from China or whatever. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to have a great program today. We're going to talk about something that's very dear to the hearts of everybody up in this area, in Chautauqua County particularly, smoking. Everybody smokes and barbecues. Everybody has their smoker, they have their barbecue set up, and uh, we have the champion of champs uh, with us who has uh, vast knowledge, an incredible smoker. If you've ever gone down Route 20, you pass, uh, do you remember the Elwell's Tasty Freeze? It's still there. It just has a new, new guise now. Uh, it's uh, the, a smokehouse, the smoke place. And they have a machine out front that looks like a locomotive. <laughs> That's what they smoke in, and it's incredible. And Lorianne Ritter is the one in charge and doing the job, and she's here with us today. And she's going to give you a few tips on how to smoke, how to uh, properly prepare your meats. You marinate, you rub, your sauces, and so forth. And we're going to talk about ribs in particular, because everybody loves smoked or uh, barbecued spare ribs, which is partly smoked, of course. It's kind of almost uh, interwoven. In inter uh, you smoke, you barbecue, you do both, and you do one and the other, usually together. So we're going to be talking about all that, and we'll have call-ins. Anybody wants to call in for any reason on God's earth, just call the number 753-JACK, like jack your phone in. If you can't remember Jack, it's 753-5225, and you'll be on the air, and you will have your little magic carpet right out into the universe. You can tell anybody anything you want. Give somebody a pat in the back or a kick in the rear, or whatever you wish. This is your time. Lots of things happening in this world now. Of course, the Obama you know, rhetoric goes on with uh, Romney. Romney's getting boxed in <laughs> by Reed. 
Senator Reid. Uh, Senator Reid says the reason he won't give his tax forms up and show you is he doesn't pay any taxes. Here's a guy with a billion dollar income, uh, almost a, a trillionaire, <laughs> and he's not paying any taxes. Well, uh, Romney says, how do you know that? And he says, a little birdie told me. <laughs> Somebody in uh, one of his firms, uh, Romney's firms, uh, slipped it to him. But uh, he keeps saying, well, I want to know who it was. Either put up or shut up. He, and Reitsi keeps saying, well, you can prove it. Just show us your taxes. Why are you hiding your tax forms? He won't show his, his tax forms like his father did immediately when he was running. Oh, no, he won't show his tax forms. He's hiding them. I'll show you this year, he says. <laughs> After it's properly adjusted, I'm sure. But at any rate goes on and on, the rhetoric and the, the cra craziness, and uh, he blames Obama for not fixing the income, and Obama says, well, you started it. <laughs> you guys are the one who put us in this play, in this situation, and it goes back and forth. Well, let's see. We'll find out in November, won't we, who's going to win the show. Um, a lot of people say, what's this guy know about my situation? Here's a billionaire almost, and he's, he's telling us he's just one of the folks, and he wears his shirt sleeves up, and you're just one of you guys, you know. Well, you people that make forty, fifty thousand a year, if you're lucky. <laughs> I make, I make a trillion, a billion a year. <laughs> I don't know, guys. We got a problem. Uh, I don't know. They're all millionaires and billionaires anyway. What the hell? They're all lawyers too. You can't trust them. Far as you can throw most of them. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'll tell you a lawyer joke sometime. Uh, Let's see, uh, television is just nuttiness. Uh, locally, of course, the television, we're not hearing much about the fact that uh, uh, we're going to have a shortfall of uh, millions of dollars in Stuck County, and the only way they're going to collect that money is raise our taxes. But wait a minute, we're already listed by Forbes and other companies uh, who measure economics as the highest tax county in the United States, Chautauqua County. How can they raise the taxes more? I mean, people will simply give up their house and run. <laughs> Your seniors are losing their homes because they're not giving them a cola. You remember this is, you remember this stuff? Yeah, seniors, you remember it. During the Great Depression, that's what seniors had to eat because they didn't have any money uh, to, to live, really. Uh, that's cat food. It's, uh, actually, I'm writing a cat food uh, a cookbook. <laughs> there are a lot of cat food products that are pretty edible if you do them right, <laughs> like the, uh, the tuna. You know, you put a lot of mayonnaise in that. It's not too bad. <laughs> Here you go. All right, uh, locally, so we got all that problem. Our local villages, and uh, I don't know, they're, they're all taxed up to the hilt, too, I'm afraid. You know how they're taxing us in the village? They say, oh, no, we didn't raise the tax as much. But they raised the usage fees on water and sewage. That's the way they're getting you, guys. <laughs> you notice how your water and sewage prices are rocketing. Well, but that's not a tax, Mr. Powers. <laughs> oh, when you're paying half a grand a year just for your water, I, I'll tell you something, that, that boils, down to, boils down to a lot of dough, <laughs> whether you boil it or not. All right, let's get, I've got just a couple of items here. Uh, we're not going to hear from John Hamels today. Uh, I want to send our condolences, everybody in Chautauqua County especially, to John, who works very hard on various uh, posts and uh, various... Uh, groups he's helping out, he's on a number of boards in the county. <clears throat> his mother passed away, his dear mother, uh, yesterday, and so that's uh, unfortunate. He has to be down uh, taking care of affairs, and he's in a, a deep uh, sorrow at this point. And John, our heart goes out to you and your whole family. We want to uh, talk about briefly some of the senior stuff going on around here. We have just two of them that I really want to talk about. But before I do, I want to give a hats off of my own. You know, you, you can give a hats off. You can, uh, most people big, uh, 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 groan, groan and moan. <laughs> I started to say bib, bib, <laughs> uh, about their uh, uh, local uh, government when things are not going well. But they don't say things when things are going well. Westfield has a new, relatively new superintendent of electricity. Uh, Mr. Ha Hamilton did it for a million years wonderfully. His name is Bill Bonberg, and he is doing a great job for the Westfield Electric Department. He's very approachable. <coughs> he, uh, well, uh, he's uh, knowledgeable, and he has a vast experience. He ran the 
whole electric department for most of the world or something for quite a while. And uh, he knows what he's doing. And so I want to thank you, Bill, Bill Bonberg, for uh, being very, very responsive and effective in taking care of an electrical problem that was over in my neighborhood. Uh, I live on Clinton Street. <laughs> Boy, are they doing a job in the, in the next to my house. They had to cut through cement and through uh, uh, macadam and everything to get to a pipe below them <laughs> that went out, they, uh, one of these sewage pipes. We used to have the old pipes, the kind that are extended uh, clay pipes. and. Eventually, they, they finally go, they deteriorate, and then the roots of trees get into them and stand back. It's a busy time pumping, the, grinding those roots out, rotor rootering. <laughs> okay, guys, um, let's talk re briefly about uh, the uh, Mayville Seniors. They have a terrific group in Mayville, and Mayville is one of our sponsors for uh, Access 5. Very good at it. And uh, Mayville is, uh, I don't know, it's, it's Fred... Uh, Fred, uh, Fred Anderson does the job over there in part, and Emerson Chandler, now he's a famous guy around here. Uh, he's just the best, best known <laughs> Mabelite, I think, in the world. And uh, they had a scrumptious meal over there, and Mrs. Scriven uh, did a very old man <laughs> a, a reading, and I relate to that. <laughs> Uh, Wanda Gufferson re read the July birthday celebrants, and I'll mention a few life members. Life members: Jack Abrams, Ruth Stacy, Francis Frey, Josephine Crandall, Betty Lou Zenz, and uh, some other birthdays: Marianne Catalano and Gloria Moore, Neil Johnson, Sonia Mount. Oh, wedding milestones are Leo, uh, Leo, and uh, uh, Rita Lisinski, and 70 years. That's 70 years. Emerson and Sandy Chandler, too. How about that? Uh, we hear from Gene Kelsey, who does uh, co-chairs co the trips. They have a trip to Viddler's, which is a lot of fun. And uh, it's going to be, uh, they're going to the Riverside, too. And it's filling up fast. If you want to join, call, uh, the, call the gang over there. Call Gene. Gene Kelsey. Want to meet them? They meet at uh, the VFW at the foot of the hill uh, out toward... Uh, well, you know where that beautiful place is. It's uh, you go up the hill, and it's uh, next to uh, just just short of the uh, uh, the curve down there in Mayville, and uh, they have a meeting there with a bunch of people, a huge bunch of people. You get a whole second second family when you join a senior group. They're having Sloppy Joe's August 16 for the next meeting. Now they have an annual sloppy Joe meeting. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Bring a dish to compliment in your own table service, please. They sang the Star Spangled Banner and played bingo, of course, very beautifully. <laughs> Over in Silver Creek, they have a great bunch. They have their own clubhouse, and the clubhouse is on the corner of 20 and 5, Route 20 and Route 5. And they're trying to get a sign up there, but the local authorities, you know how tangled they are about signs. <laughs> So you know where the senior center is. I'm sure they'll get one shortly. Um, they uh, meet on Tuesdays, and present over there is Ed Newman. If you want to get to know Ed or anybody in the group, call Ed. He's in the phone book. And they're going to have an open house for the, for the Joneses, for their daughter. They're going to have a corn roast August 14th coming up. Bring a dish to pass. Yeah, uh, that's that's about it. I, I've got a lot of other news here, but they're telling me I'm time up already for the news. Have you ever? Have you ever I've blown too much time talking about smoked food. <laughs> they're having a pizza party there. I wanted to mention August twenty-first, and there's always bingo. Most most groups have bingo after dinner, after their uh, lunch or, or their uh, meeting. Okay, enough said. I've got a public service announcement for you. They said, "Read, you get off the news, or we're just going to shut you down." All right, off the news. Here's for you. This is yours. At what age is the color that your skin was meant to be no longer beautiful? Every year, millions of young women try to change the skin they were born with and say they die for darker skin. Sadly, some actually do. Melanoma is the second most common cancer in teens and young adults 15 to 24.